everybody, this is Praxis. I'm back on site today, and it's kind of a surprise that I'm here doing this because the weather forecast for today, at least up until yesterday, was that it was supposed to be kind of rainy with thunderstorms coming through. And those still could come through this afternoon, but for this morning, I came a little early, and I'm able to get a little bit of work done. I've been finishing up around these windows here. Uh, I've got a window ready to go in. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, another thing I wanted to share with you today is that I'm all out of the, the long six-inch nails that I've been using to hammer all this stuff up. I didn't really calculate them. I, this, this whole thing with Home Depot not taking stuff back uh, reliably anymore is really not agreeing with the way that I like to build. I kind of like to just kind of over buy stuff. Don't have to like, you know, nickel and dime and count exactly how many you need. And then, you know, you, you figure you'll have enough and then you bring the stuff back. I kind of hate having to plan up to the, to the nail, you know, exactly how much I have. Uh, it's been little bit of a uncomfortable learning curve. Um, I, I've got some more uh, coming. My dad actually uh, had some and he's going to be coming tomorrow. Uh, but even ordering stuff from Home Depot, uh, it's like a couple of weeks just to get some nails and stuff. So it's a really bumpy process. I'm not enjoying it. But anyway, I had enough to get uh, nails around this window and I wanted to throw it in ahead of the thunderstorms coming. First step is I got a couple of pads. I'm going to put them just on top of the foam so when I rest the window in, it's not sitting right on the foam, but it's got that uh, little bit of uh, that little stick in there. Actually, what I should do is kind of angle them so that I can grab them later on. I'm not going to leave the sticks in there. All right. I've got nails in my pocket, little roofing nails that go around this, this flange. This is so much easier than working on the house with the really heavy windows and much higher on ladders. Still be nice if there were two people for this, but it's just me and that'll do. All right, so I'm gonna set this in place. Oh, one thing that I can't do, actually, oh, is it kinda in there? One thing I can't do is tell whether it looks nice and centered from the inside. Uh, I guess if I got a board, I could kinda lean it up against, I don't know. Oh God, it, fe it feels like I could just leave it there. You know what, I'm gonna put one nail in. Just put one nail in and, uh, and run around to the inside and see. Okay, yeah, I'll just do that. So I'm gonna go on the inside and I'll see, I'll get it all squared up. But this is the process. You just set the window in, make sure you have a little bit of a space at the bottom, uh, and then put nails all around the perimeter of it. Uh, and, uh, and that seals it in. Uh, later on, what I'll do is I'll put uh, spray foam around the sides and I'll make sure that I'm using the window spray foam and it's not just a different package. There actually is a different type of spray foam. The orange uh, spray foam, I'm sorry, not orange, red spray foam you see down here on the boards, uh, that uh, expands a lot and it becomes very rigid. The window spray foam, foam doesn't, spray, uh, it doesn't expand quite as much and it's less rigid. So uh, the reason that you'd use that is so that you're not having it uh, expand and like crunch against the windows and ma then make the windows hard to open. So if you ever do put spray foam around your windows, make sure you use the right one, not the regular stuff, but the window and door stuff because uh, it will uh, not lock your windows up as easily. Uh, the other thing you want to do is just put in just a little bit and kind of let that set and then do another run of it. If you really fill it up, even the window and window and door stuff will uh, tend to uh, uh, fill up the void. So I'm going to go in here, make sure it's all centered up, and then come around and nail it all up. And uh, that's great because I didn't think I was going to get any windows in today. That's it. Thanks for watching.